Welcome to Defence Web TV, covering the latest defence and security developments in land, air and sea. Vietnam unveiled a locally made, modernised variant of the Soviet BMP-1, the XCB-01. Featured in a new documentary, the XCBM-01 represents Vietnam's leap into modern armoured vehicle production. Built on the Soviet-made BMP-1 chassis, Vietnam XCBM-01 features upgraded armor, a digital fire control system, and a locally designed remote weapon station. Enhanced mobility and integrated com highlight a touch of modern self reliance defense technology. Developed and produced domestically, the XCBM-01 infantry fighting vehicle is based on the Soviet BMP-1 platform but incorporate notable upgrade in mobility, protection and crew interface. The crew configuration remains the same, with three members. The driver is seated at the front left of the wheel, using three interchangeable periscope vision blocks. The driving interface has been simplified and updates, now featuring turret and hull orientation indicator, while retaining an elevation still steering yoke. Positioned directly behind the driver, the commander also used three periscopes, one of which is a day-night model. The gunner operates from the turret and controls several weapons. The groom low-pressure cannon, a coaxial PKT matching gun, a Sager anti-tank guide missiles, and an NSV AV machine gun mounts externally. The scene night systems include a thermal channel, laser ranger finder, the right control stick operates the PKT, while the left one is used from the groom. Beneath the U, the XCBM-01 is powered by a UTD-20 diesel engine producing 300 horsepower, enabling a top road speed of 65 km and an amphibious speed of 7 km, thanks to its integrated water propulsion systems. It can transport up to eight dismounts and it's equipped with nuclear biological and chemical protection system as well as a smoke generation system. Armor and onboard protection measures have also been upgraded to meet contemporary operational demands. The XCB-01 illustrates the Vietnamese effort to develop a new generation of armored vehicle based on test platform but extensively re-engineered for current needs. Stay with us for a daily update on key developments in defense and security. And don't miss our end-of-week summary, where we break down the most important stories across land, air and sea.